Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm here to show you, if nothing else, that golf doesn't suck, and that you should try it. <laughs> and you don't even have to be good to entertain yourself. Did you see that? That was a terrible shot. Get on the ball. I'm gonna play that. Here, here's a question. Like, 95% yeah. of people watching this video right now have never picked up a golf club. They never thought about picking up a golf club, and they don't like golf. Yeah, reasonably so. How would you try to sell the sport to them? Wow, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to bottle that flavor up, right? I mean, golf is a game where if you're lucky enough to be okay enough at it to give it a chance to teach you a tremendous amount about yourself and about the world and the people that you walk through it with, well, then you're a lucky person. But if not, watch the next video, you know? As a golf nut myself, I've been following Eric on Instagram for many years. He's one of the pioneers of making inspiring golf content around the world, and since moving to LA, we've been able to catch a few rounds together. At what point did you first pick up a golf club and then you fell in love with the game? That was about 10 years ago. My brother, who's older than me, had been trying to get me into golf for his entire life. Finally, I said yes, and I didn't think I would like it, uh, based on the little that I knew about it, and I was wrong. I mean, I, I immediately fell in love with it. Next day, started playing golf, bought a driver, ripped up my hands, <laughs> learned about recycled golf balls, you know, the whole thing. Through his YouTube content and golf stories, Eric is single-handedly changing the image of the sport for the better. Welcome to a very special episode of Ace Cam. He makes golf more fun and appealing to the average person because he is just an average person himself. I don't know, you play golf for a while and you get upset with that shot and it's like, who cares? Nobody in your group cares about <laughs> your shot. Right. And when you go home, nobody cares about your shot. So why are you on the golf course? That's ultimately the biggest question yeah. we need to ask ourselves. In my 30s, my job was filmmaker. I, I, my business was making documentaries for movies. I would make music videos. I was always using the camera as a way to kind of travel around the world. And golf fit perfectly into that, you know? So I just started bringing my camera to the golf course and I was making a documentary about golf and meditation. And that sort of went around and the PGA Tour, someone from the PGA Tour saw it and they said, wow, do you want to host a golf show? And that became Adventures in Golf. You know, the pitch was travel around the world and play golf in strange places with strange people. And you know, that, really is in its fifth season now, and it really is the thing that I care about the most. And we went to Nepal, India, Scotland, Thailand, Iceland, Korea, Japan, uh, Australia, Hawaii, Mexico, Dominican Republic. In spite of the success of Adventures in Golf, Eric went on to create Random Golf Club. What's up, everybody? I don't know how to do it. I've never done it with this many people. Let's play some golf. Random Golf Club is really aimed at welcoming the new golfer, getting people excited about the game, not sort of presenting the pretentious, sort of complicated stereotype right. of golf. Really, equality, all are welcome is a big facet of Random Golf Club. But also, it's about playing golf in these large groups with you know 100 sure. people all in one hole and you play alternate shot, you get to meet a lot of people, and it becomes this sort of moving cocktail party with a subtle purpose. You're kind of playing golf, but you're also really kind of just hanging out, going on a walk with friends, right. new friends, old friends, and it's electric, and people have said it's life-changing. Thought it was gonna be regular golf, but this is way better. I play regular golf with my buddies all the time. Where do you get to play with 50 people? Never. And it certainly is, you know, a totally radical way of getting involved in the game of golf. My favorite content of yours is the Deer Golf stuff, which is awesome that you've had Tiger Woods join the last one. In a very simple answer, what does the game of golf mean to you? I mean, there's no way to describe that. The, the, the game of golf is everything about me. It's like my blood, it's my food, it's my sunrise. It's where the plane takes me, coming home. I'm inside the golf ball. <laughs> That's just it. That's the answer right there. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I was looking for. It took a little bit to get there. You've met a lot of my idols. You've met Tiger Woods briefly, I must say, and I'm probably going to show that clip. Tiger, meet, meet Eric as well. He's part of the team. Hey. Hey, he's a big guy. Right, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Do you mind if we take a photo again? Yeah. Cool. You've met a lot of the top 20, 30 golfers. Is it cool? Is it inspiring? Is it like, oh my God? 
What, what is it like to do that? Yeah, well, I mean, what's cool about that is, like you said, your heroes, my heroes, they're the same. These men are, and women are, you know, all about, you know, the game and they've devoted their lives to it. So in that sense, it's very cool. But uh, yeah, on the other hand, they are just people and we are working, we're making a video, we're doing a podcast, whatever it is. But that is a cool feeling to walk away and say, wow, what I have done somehow has enough meaning to it that this person who is a hero of mine feels validated in working together on something. Eric is a great example of someone who turned his dreams into reality by nothing more than a video camera. We are all so lucky to be living in a world where this is possible. No matter what your passion is in life, whether it's badminton, piano, hiking, or gardening, I urge you to consider making content about it because trust me, it will lead to so many new opportunities in your life. Eric, what is one message that you would like to say to the world? Oh, goodness. I mean, basically it comes down to the way you love yourself on the golf course is the way you're gonna love everybody else in the world as you watch them make mistakes. That's intense. I wasn't ready for that kind of ending. Do you wanna, do you wanna redo that? No. Okay, cool. So how do you know this gentleman in the in the funny hat behind you? I just kind of came across his content from when he was going to put out the documentary about the spiritual side of golf. How many years ago was that? I don't know. Five? five years ago. Five? Really? Five so weeks. Six at least. So what does it feel like to be golfing with him right it's now? It's just small world shit, you know what I mean? It's just like, just small world stuff. It's super cool. What do you like about his content? Just kind of being a voice to, uh, you know, not necessarily the younger generation, but the up and coming generation was... Uh, I was like, wow, you know, because I've, I've played this game since I was a kid. I'm 39 now, and uh, I just felt like there was this kind of movement happening, and, and he had a big part of it, you know what I mean? And it was just, just adds more fun to it all. But I, I'm part of a golf club, and we all watch his content and some of his buddy's stuff, you know? Look at that smile. Just keep, that, crazy, keep that man. smile right there. That's crazy. It's See? Legit. See, it's all We just showed it. up here to play golf. Drew yeah. was just like 6.30, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Eddie's here, and that's just so cool, man. That's Super like... I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.